Hi guys, so let's have a look at Pixelar Ideas, design and photo editing from your web browser. How cool is that? So let's look at some of the new features and it's easy to use, no design knowledge needed. Couldn't be simpler. So what I've got on the screen at the moment is a YouTube video thumbnail. Now this is a thumbnail I'm actually making for this particular video. So let me take you through the steps of how easy this is to do. So I'll go back over here, click on the home button, toggle home. You'll note this is on a browser. This is so easy. Toggle home. There we go. It finally, it finally thought about it. I seem to have a bit of a slow computer this morning. It must be doing a few things. Now there's the latest project. You can see there I'm working on it. Let me show you the steps of how we got to this. Now if you go down and have a look at recommended templates, you've got a lot of recommended ones there. There's just about everything. And they come for Instagram, Instagram Story, YouTube Thumbnail, that's the one I'm working on, YouTube Art, Facebook Post, Facebook Story, Pinterest Pin, Long Pin, Twitter Post, Twitter Cover, uh, Rob, Roblox Clothes, LinkedIn, Flyer, Business Card and Simple Collage. So let's have a look at the YouTube Thumbnail and we'll see how easy this is to do. So click on that. And it comes up and gives you a whole list of thumbnails. Some are free, as you can see, and some are not. Let's see if I can find the one I just used. There are so many of them there. Now don't take the first one that comes across. You see that little sign? That means that it's part of the premium package. Now I haven't got premium installed on this because well, not yet. I wanted to show you how easy this is to use. Now, am I finding am I finding the template that I wanted? No, I'm still there. It is there. Look at that. Craft ideas for children, and that's a free one. Let's bring that up, shall we? Use this template. Yep, and it's free. And there we go. That's the thumbnail. That's the template. Now it's still loading a little bit. I really do have a slow connection this morning. Never mind. Now, how did I make this? Let's see. Craft ideas. Now, the little girl's sitting over the top of that at the moment. That's an image. Now I just clicked anywhere in the image. So I'll just move that to the side for the moment. Put her over there and click on that. There's craft ideas and in there I put P-I-X-L-R, Pixelar ideas. Pixelar ideas for children. Now, what else have I got in there? I'm just looking for um, some text to see if I can... Design and photo. There we go. Pixel art ideas. Click on that. There's our text there. E-S-I-G-N design and photo, that's what it is, and the second part, children. New, oops, we don't want lowercase, let's put it in uppercase.
new features. Oops, and we're going to need to widen that slightly, aren't we? So go back to there and just drag the box out a little bit. You can see it goes out there, that side there. We can drag that out. We've got new features in there now. It's centered. New features. Press the enter key. Easy to use. Press the enter key again. No design no design knowledge needed and you think oh okay so that's scrolled right off the system let's move that up there so we can see it all doesn't matter that it's over the top I'm just using the mouse to move that and I've got all the text selected Let's bring the size back down to hmm, new features just a little bit smaller than the pixel art ideas. So let's bring that back down again there. And you can see the green line, that means it's centered on the top one. And we'll bring it down there. And you think, oh, okay. We still can't read that terribly clearly, can we? Can we bring it in a little bit? Yeah, we can bring that in a little bit. Let's bring that in a little bit. And we want to end there. No design. No design knowledge needed. There we go. That's just about where we wanted. Now, what I want is that text there to be the same colour as that text there. Now, I do believe it's that colour there. There it is. Let's check that. B, F, 3E, 3E, so we'll go up to that one and check it, BF, 3E, 3E, so they're exactly the same, okay. Now I moved that slightly, oh, silly thing to do, wasn't it? There we go. Just click outside the box and it's back to where it was. Pixel R ideas, design and photo, new features, easy to use. Now we've got that box selected. And we want the background to be different. I want the background white. So put the mouse right in the corner. There we go. New features, easy to use. No design knowledge needed. Now I could probably put no design and no design knowledge and needed all on one line, but I want that to be easily read easily <laughs> easy to read. Remember, this is a YouTube uh, th um, YouTube thumbnail, so it needs to be easily readable very quickly, and that's easily readable. You're not stumbling over long lines. Now, let's have a look at what we've got here. That's about, that will do it for the moment. I haven't got any punch out or text through, line spacing, opacity, fill, curve, background. If you go, if you select punch out, you can now see that you can see straight through that text. And now I don't want that feature here because that's going to make that text not so easily readable. It's not too bad, but if I had another image behind it, 
it would be a lot better. So I'll leave that off. I don't want any offset. I just want that as it is. Now the thing I want to do here is select the girl. Now you can see the layers here. If I just click on that little visible layer, visible eye there. Where's the girl? There she goes. It's just the computer being a bit slow this morning. There she is, she's back on again. But now we've got to bring that over there. Now I've got her there and there. What I want to do is put her, the lower half of her arm, behind that box. Although it's not too bad where it is because it cuts out the hard lines. I can put a board around that, make that as nice as I like. But how do I put that behind that? Simple. Take that there and drag it down to there. You can see her arm is now behind that box and in front of that one. But that's fairly irrelevant at the moment because what I really want to do here is put a different image on there. And that will be then the same as the one that I showed you to start with. So let's go over the left hand side here. Add an element or an image. Add media and browse your own files. Now it's going away and it's browsing my own files. I've got a cute winter kitten here. Now I've taken the background out of this already and I'll show you later on how to take out the background really easily from one of these. So let's upload that one. And there it is there. We can drag it over. I've left the snowflakes in there. Where's the corner? We want the corner. Let's bring that down a little bit so it's not quite so big and overpowering. There we go. And we've got a little corner there. Let's reduce it in size even a little bit more. So it's about the same size as the girl. We don't need to worry about that. And we don't need to worry about the girl because we just go over here, select the girl and click on the eye. So she's no longer visible. And there's there's your um, easily done YouTube thumbnail. Now, why have I done that? Because I can put something different there. You can put in any image you like. And, and if this is a thumbnail reflecting the video that you're doing, then you can have an image of what you're doing just there. And here you can put a description of what you're doing. But you leave that there and that there. You could even put a photograph of yourself there. Just cut out with pixel art and put there. That way it's really recognisable. You don't want to change this all the time. If you're going to use that, use it on every video that you do. So in the end, as they stack up, you will see people will start to recognise your video thumbnail and they'll easily see it. Because if you look at YouTube, you've got thousands of thumbnails there, and they're all different people gawping at this TV with their mouths open, yelling in surprise, oh my God! Well, okay, so that's wearing a bit thin. But you want to be able to recognise your video amongst the thousands of others. So keep the format the same. Own your brand. And there we go. That's it for this one. So let's save this. Now, I might want to come back and work on that. So save it as a PXZ. That's a complete document for storage and collaboration. Non-destructive. It's a much larger file. Okay. Native pixel R format. But I'll save it as that for the time being. Just leave craft ideas for children. And we'll call it two, because I've already done one, haven't I? Now, because I don't have the premium on here just at this moment, it pops up ads all the time. 
and you normally get them over here too. For some reason, I haven't got any ads there, but it's usually full of ads. That's all right. I don't mind ads. Advertising is revenue. It makes the world go round. Now, let's save that into a format we can use. It says JPG, which is recommended. Small files, perfect for photos and sharing. But this is a YouTube mm, thumbnail, so it doesn't really matter. I much prefer PNGs. So let's see if I can, there we go, it's a PNG. Let's see if I can get it to save as a PNG with a transparent background. Mm. Be careful, some sites don't like transparencies, but YouTube is fine. And this one I want with transparent, transparent background, although you can't see it. That's a reasonable size, 582 KB. It's 128A by 720, your standard YouTube thumbnail size. Save as, craft ideas for children, let's call this pixel R ideas for YouTube thumbnail number, thumbnail did I get it there, number one. I can dig that out. Apply. File saved. Close the nag screen. And there we go. That's all there is to it. Now we can close that so that it stays in our list of things that we've been working on. There we go. Home. And now you can see it. Looks pretty much the same, right? There's the cute winter kitten I put in. There's, let's bring this one up. It's loading because what I want to do is go over here quickly. Turn that off. Turn that on. There we go. Now I'll save that again. Save it as the PXZ. And we've probably got three of them there now. So let's go home. And there they go. That's the active one. So we bring that up again. There she is. Why they didn't save with her in there, I don't know. But let's let's just close it and see what happens. No, she still hasn't come back. Ah, oh, she'll be there somewhere. And we'll worry about that one later. There's the one I just did. And there's the other one I just did. That's all there is to it.